Hello and welcome back. So this is part three of my series of me building my cosplay for Ashmane from World of Warcraft. Um, just the continuation of part two pretty much. I continue to cut out all the little pieces and get them pinned where they need to be um, and trace out those pieces of course. For the shoulders, um, I am working on both shoulder pieces in this. So here I'm just kind of cutting out my paper pattern. I like, to, I like to cut out the pieces as I go. I do number all my pieces and leave little uh, hash marks so I can get everything taped back together later so I can save my patterns in case I mess something up. And then I just trace these right onto my 6mm foam. And after I get a few traced, I do cut them out. Usually I trace a few, cut some, and kind of go back and forth from there. Um, I will be pinning these little pieces onto the base pieces as I go. Um, there are three base pieces per shoulder. And then I think there's there's several um, small pieces that go on those. I think one of them has three pieces, one has six pieces, and the other has about eight or nine. There's about 25 pieces all together when this is done. Well, to this point anyway. I will need plenty of other pieces later. But as far as we get, um, as far as I get them now, before I get my other stuff, for this, um, there are about 25 pieces. You can see here I am starting to pin things in place. I believe that's the middle piece. I think I already started the back piece um, getting pinned in place in the last video. So here I'm working on the middle and the top piece, and then I move on to the uh, right shoulder piece, which I do kind of pop in here and there as I work on the left one. So that one's pretty much pinned. I have a few more pieces I need. I do use my little scrap pieces here when I can. I try to use up as much foam as possible so I'm not wasting any. Um, all the foam I'm using here is 6mm black EVA foam from TNT Cosplay Supply. I'll try to remember to put a link to them down in the description. If I forget though, just leave me a comment below and I will let you know what that is. Or if you follow me on Instagram, I do have a few posts talking about foam and I did tag TNT cosplay supply um, in this post. See so if you able to get a link from them. Or you can just comment to remind me because that'd be a lot easier. Or if I just remember the link. So here I am starting to pin the rest of those pieces on that middle piece. Um, I think I have two more pieces that need to cut out. And then I end up having to do, redo one of these later off video because uh, it just wasn't quite right. Which is why I pinned things in place first instead of just gluing. And I just used regular old box cutters for cutting out the foam. Um, so I, on past ones I have used X-Acto knives too. I don't have any trouble with those. Just um, I like the snap off blades that some of the box cutters have just because I like to change my blades, my blades so often. It's just a little more cost efficient and uh, time wise efficient as well to do the snap uh, blades, box colors, and stuff, exacto knives. So I'm cutting out my paper pattern for the top layer now, top base piece and little detail pieces. I do plan on having LEDs in these shoulder pieces, um, but I am going to kind of play around with the other armor parts first before I get to the LEDs, just because if it doesn't work out as I plan on other parts, then I'm just not going to do LEDs anywhere. But as of right now, I do plan on having LEDs in the shoulders. So here I'm just kind of pinning my paper pattern in place on my foam just to kind of mark out an outline to help me follow when gluing things together later and then and um, as well as pinning things in place to see if it works out. I do write down my numbers for each pattern piece as well here and there uh, just to help me stay organized. And I do color code as well so all my left armor pieces are in silver for the shoulder and then all my right shoulder pieces are in a bronze or gold. 
all that stuff that's going to be covered up later is just to help me stay organized until things are all glued together. They'll be covered in Plasti Dip and paint later so you won't see it. So that's the right one I'm working on now. So I'm just getting them all traced out before I start cutting things out. Makes it easier that way. I think in the next video we'll get back to our bracers and get the sanding on them. I have do have one totally sanded. It just needs one piece of either 2mm or 4mm foam. I haven't quite decided. Um, I was thinking 2mm, but when I started playing around with some craft foam, which doesn't work because it's um, the Dremel just tears it up, it's not dense enough. But um, I don't think I'm going to get enough depth in the foam when carving out my designs, so I might have to give a 4 and see if I can work with that. Um, I just want to make sure there's enough depth um, from those edge pieces than the center piece. So we'll see how that goes. I'm going to be doing two anyway. I think it'll be okay with the EVA foam. Just when I tried to craft foam, it was a mess. It didn't work out at all. And then the other armor pieces I haven't even started on yet or made a pattern for or anything would be the ankle armor, feet armor, and hand armor. I did start the draft hand armor yesterday. But I still have a few uh, adjustments to make to it. I got the overall all design right. I just forgot how I planned on making things more pointy. So some adjust adjustments needed there. And I have started drafting things like my uh, skirt and I plan on drafting later um, like my belts and bags and such as well. I do have my Pretty much everything for my cloth stuff except for my brown suede. I'm waiting for it to come in the mail still, but everything else I have, pretty sure other than the foam I need to order as well, and then my suede that I'm waiting on. The suede is just going inside the bags though, so it's not super important, but it's important enough. I do plan on having functional, functional bags, which would be fantastic because I haven't had any cosplays with usable pockets. I've always had to just hand my stuff off to other people or carry a bag and then throw my bag somewhere for pictures, so I plan on having several bags and be able to put things with my phone and my money or whatever else in them. It's going to be great. Then I don't wear contacts, so I'll have somewhere to put my glasses when I'm, when I'm doing pictures or something. Pretty excited about the bags. I haven't quite decided all the little designs I'm on there yet, though. But I plan on doing all, the, all that stuff in videos as well. Um, I just don't do my pattern drafting, but of course um, assuming the series isn't over yet, you can always leave me a comment and let me know if you want to see pattern drafting, and I'd be fine with sharing that. Um, I just figured that's kind of a... It can be time-consuming, so I've been leaving that stuff out. So, yeah. But yeah, I can definitely add that stuff in the videos um, if you guys want. Just let me know. So I'm cutting out those smaller details here for the left shoulder. I do have one pin in place. Still cutting stuff out. I do have quite a few pieces to cut out here, so it'll be a minute on that. I also need to get snaps and decide on what color bodysuit I want to make. I haven't decided on that yet. I thought about gray or black or maybe I could do like a night elf skin tone color but I haven't really decided. It's like do I want it to be a skin tone color which would be like blue or purple or pink uh, being night elves or do I just want to make it like clothing that goes under the armor. But I don't know. But anyway, the armor's gonna snap onto whatever I make that will be right on my skin to stay in place. It's kind of one of the on what to do with that. I was gonna do black, but I feel like a lot of my stuff's gonna be black. And then I don't know about gray because a lot of my armor's gonna be a silvery color. So, I don't to know. So thank you guys so much for watching. Uh, this is where we're at to now. I just have this. Uh, white foam just stuck in there because I was playing with the lights. 
Um, so yeah, lots of pieces there. Now this is glued together yet. We'll do that in another video. So this is the left one, and then the right one here, we still have to cut out the pieces. Um, here's the three base pieces here. Now it's the bottom. So this one's the top, middle piece, and the bottom piece. So it goes something like this. So it's lined up way better. And then these are all the detail pieces here. So, yeah, lots of sanding to do, lots of gluing. Um, I do have my left bracer pretty much ready to go. Started sanding and all of that. Um, and I have a little extra thin piece glued in there. All it needs is a thinner piece of foam to put in this area here and some uh, designs to carve in. And I'll be ready to prime and paint and all of that. So in the next video, I plan on finishing. See, here's a really rough sanding. Um, finishing the sanding on this and on this and then get this attached to here so it's at the same stage as our left one. Our right one will be the same as the left. So yeah guys, thank you so much for watching uh, these three videos so far. I'll have a fourth one up soon. Uh, be sure to check out my Instagram and the links below uh, in case you want some little updates in between videos. I'm doing fairly often updates, at least in my Insta story, if not actual post, um, where I'm at with things. So yeah, thank you so much for watching.